Hi, this is Fred at GetMeCoding.com, and we're continuing our series here on some basic movement and motion uh, for our sprites, and in this case here at Scratch the Cat. Now, I was going back to my videos, and I was realizing I said something that I need to come back to, and that was maybe we don't want to have Scratch the Cat be our sprite. Maybe we want something else. So I'm going to come in here right now, and I'm going to get rid of my sprites. So this is my script tab, and actually these are my. This is now my script. I'm actually controlling everything this particular Scratch the Cat is doing here. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to get rid of them. Bam, gone. Now as far as Scratch the Cat goes, there's a couple ways you could do it. You could actually right-click your mouse, and then select Delete, or you can come up here and utilize the Scissors key or the scissors button, and you can click it, and you notice there's a piece, there's a pair of scissors now, never run with scissors, that could be bad, might trip, might fall, might cut your hair, I don't know, but anyway, you can get rid of scratch the cat, bam. Now, notice that down here in this area, we have no sprites, Now over here we have no scripts, so we don't control anything, we still have a backdrop, that's really cool. Now let's go ahead, if you notice here, we can actually add some sprites from the library that Scratch has. But just like with the backdrop, you could actually make your own sprite. And we'll talk about that in another video. Because I know a lot of times when students come in here and they find out they can make their own sprite, man, they dig into that and they really, really enjoy it. They could spend, you could spend hours making your own sprite. It, it is a lot of fun. So we're gonna actually though for, for time, right? So you can learn how to do some of the basics here. You're gonna click on a sprite from the library and there's all kinds that are in here. Now, I wanna show you something else now. Um, one of the things that we're gonna do here is we're gonna take, um, let's, it looks like, uh, let's see, we got all kinds in here. The one that I like to work with uh, that's a fun one is the helicopter. Helicopters, I, I like flying, I like, you know, aviation, I like jets. Let's see, helicopter, there it is. Now, granted, it's not the most, you know, realistic looking helicopter, but we pick it. I click OK, and there's my helicopter. All right, so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna add an event when I click it, and I'm gonna add some motion. So if I say move ste 10 steps, uh, I, I know that it's not gonna go too far, but I'm gonna say move 100 steps. Now when I click my, my green flag, I could see it move a little bit. So steps are really small. And once again, if I wanted to go back to, uh, I wanted to always start at this one position here. I'm going to um, put it there and I'm going to start with a go to X, Y. Remember now, when we put it in that position before dragging the block out there, the X and Y are automatically set for us. Otherwise, we have to place our mouse on the canvas to find where the X and Y coordinate is. And once we do that, if you, if you didn't watch the prior video, you'll notice that here is the X and Y down in the lower right corner. That's going to give us a number. So now all of a sudden, we're going to do this, click our flag, and we'll stop it. Stop, stop. Nope. Oh. Go to X, Y. And move him. Oh, he's kind of stuttering. You may not be noticing, but it's actually stuttering. So I'm going to click stop. All right. To get a repetitive action going, we're going to now cover probably one of the most important concepts in coding. And it's known as a loop. Okay. In Scratch, we have a repeat, and what's known as a forever. If I come in here right now, and I put this in here, I have what's known as a repeat. Notice it looks like a like an alligator's mouth, right? If I put anything in the alligator's mouth, it's going to repeat however many times we specify right there. So I'm going to drag these off. I'm going to put my repeat in there. Actually, no, I'm going to break off the move. I'm going to make sure I always go back to my beginning spot, then I'm going to put a repeat in there. Instead of doing 100 steps right off the bat, I'm going to do 10 steps. Now, taking my mouse and my block, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to snap it right into the, the alligator's jaws, right? So it's going to repeat 10 times, moving 10 steps. So what it, the way this works is, this is known as a loop. A loop is an automated process where you do something over and over again until you control it, it being stopped. So we have repeat 10 times, whatever we have in here. Let's take a look. Not too bad. 
keeps on going back. Now, if I make that repeat 30 times, what do you think is going to happen? That's right. He's going to go a little further. There you go. He's moving across the screen now. So a loop controls a lot of steps. So if you need repetition, instead of saying things over and over again, you could actually put it into a loop and that'll start to help you do a variety of things. So now we have that going on in there. All right. One of the most important things about loops is we sometimes have to have a way to get out of them. And in a later on video, we're going to start to show that. But right now, that's the basics of loops.